Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Copper State Models latest release. This is a 135th scale Minerva or Minerva uh, armoured car, which actually we were discussing this on yesterday's live show if you hadn't seen it. And we were saying what a fantastic looking vehicle. Great to see the World War I uh, vehicles and very early armoured cars getting some love. And Copper State, let's face it, they are absolutely amazing uh, manufacturers. So, as we can see, beautiful box art right the way down for this one. Kit number for this one is CSM35004. Some of the different markings you can actually put the kit into. So again, nice touch with that one. Run round on here. This is the Belgium World War I vehicle, as we can see. Very nice indeed. So, in the box, which will be our standard double box. There we go. So, we'll just stick him there. Here we have it's like an iPhone unboxing. Okay, so down in here we've got instructions. They use proper paper with these as well. Beautiful research and details right the way through. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Here is our vehicle. So we've got the different uh, ways of doing with the hubs and the tyres separate and things. Various parts we can see down in here. We've got a couple of clear bits as well. The main chassis and body parts. And we've got the decals with the gorgeous Belgian markings or the German markings. Okay, so starting off with in there, I have to say I know nothing about this vehicle whatsoever. And to be honest, Edgar at uh, Copper State reached out to me earlier in the week. Amazingly fast service, I have to say. Next day service all the way from uh, you know many, many miles away. Uh, got it to me really, really quick. And I had to do a little bit of research on this to find out exactly what was coming in. As we can see, various things about it, uh, talking about it right the way down in here. Some great uh, period photos as well, talking about all the designs and the various parts of it on gorgeous aged paper, as you can see. So again, very nice touch with these. And again, some great period photos showing off the vehicle all the way through after the war, showing it as well really very nice touch okay so usual thing we've got the parts call outs down in here you've got your color call outs as well okay and then straight into it if you've never seen a copper state models before you are in for a treat let me just tell you that right now okay not only are the instructions beautiful the kit is as well so fully fully detailed so we've got the transmission down in here we've got the radiator we've got the chassis uh, you know obviously we've got the leaf spring system being fitted down into this one as well and then we're straight into the engine four cylinder as you can see right the way through again nice little touch here because you've got the colors showing you the wiring where that goes as well and then obviously the different piping different colors are in uh, different states as well to make it easy to follow and to build like i was saying their instructions are beautiful to look through right off the bat again drawing your attention to obviously location areas where the actual uh, cooling joins onto the radiator showing them from different angles again is a very much welcome okay then we've actually got the floor system being fitted down onto this one as it goes right the way through and then adding all the details as you can might imagine for the steering being fitted down in here we've got the steering column we've got the brake system all the various things being fitted down into there we've got the axles going in again drawing your attention to certain details which really need to be looked at okay on these ones and then sorry just move that okay and then obviously we've got the exhaust system being fitted down onto here and again drawing your attention to the locating areas on different angles that's what i love about these instructions they are absolutely gorgeous okay then we've got all the various parts being fitted to this one fitting the armor onto the side and the various parts talking about little nuts and bolts you might need to nick off right the way through and then showing it from various angles making sure you get your alignments all right the tire system being fitted around onto these as well so putting this one on just for the spare is literally a four part into that one which then fits on the floor just down into here again a little bit of armor and the mud flaps various things being fitted onto it okay and then the actual which part is that i have no idea even what that is uh, i presume that's the machine gun mount uh being fitted onto this one and then obviously we've got the outrunners being fitted down onto this one we've got toolboxes and stowage items being fitted on headlights we've got the actual bonnet we've got the uh, armor plating for the radiator so that can be closed off and we've got that important gun on the top there so there we go that's the maxim gun being fitted onto that mount 
Okay, nicely done. All right, other parts of the hood, various different uh, ways of doing it as well, depending on which ones you're gonna be doing on there. That gorgeous brass headlight, which I know I've taken the mick out of yesterday, but it, absolutely a piece of artwork on its own, being fitted down there on the front. Different type of gun as well on here, okay? So again, you can have different versions on this one. Armored shields if you wanted it on or off. The crank handle, can't forget that, being fitted down into there. And again, right the way through down to the air valve. So how detailed this is on the actual wheels, okay? So those being fitted down in there like that. And then obviously hubs of various things are being fitted on. Okay, and then as you can see, other ways doing it for the color call outs for the chassis. So it's showing you which colors are in which bits and more detailed look at those right the way through just to help you out as you go through it. And then obviously the markings. And again, I'm not gonna try and pronounce or butcher the names of these things because I get enough flack for that as it is, okay? But you can see all the different ones and the different options for the placements, okay, for the markings. That gorgeous, very much period camo. The Belgian markings as well, beautifully done, obviously with the German ones. And again, a little bit of reference stuff of the real vehicle. Again, always very much welcome right the way through. So well done, Copper State. Again, as I said before, if you've never seen any of theirs, I've got quite a few of theirs over there. We've got the Newport, we've got the Panzer Wagon, various other kits as well from them. And again, they are an absolute joy. All their instructions, very much Wingnut Wing-esque. And now Wingnut Wings are no longer absolutely take the top crown for the best instructions and reference all in one you'll find from any manufacturer out there okay so next up we've got the actual markings themselves if we can just zip in here i just click that <clears throat> okay so and don't that name we all love to see cartographed okay very very nicely done you can see there's hardly any carrier film to this numbering see how tight that is beautifully done very very nicely done indeed so we got those whilst we got the close cam here we'll just have a look at these lights so again there's nothing really to see it's just some clear ones there in h and a more bulbous type of light there on i okay right into the meat of it so we saw before, the instructions look very complicated in a lot of ways, but actually they're not. Uh, it's just that they'd like to detail and show you from every angle, which is very much welcome. As you can see, lovely sprue, good, clean, crisp, okay? Uh, the actual locating tab, some of them are a little bit large, but you know, the smaller stuff has got smaller bits, so it's not really a problem on that. No sign of any sink marks or miss molds, which you would never see on theirs anyway, but it's actually very, very nice indeed. So running around, we've got the side armor plating. And again, because we have got details in here, you know, there's obviously all, it's both sides, no eject pins on the inside. Also, there's no sink marks on the outside that you might find from other manufacturers, shall we say, when they try and do that type of molding. Okay, really nice job on the floor as well with that mountain area, nice texture. But again, all these different bonnets and the actual armor parts and everything else, no real sign of any sink marks or anything else like that in those. Over on the other side, and we've got the sort of outrunners over there, you know, for the actual sideboards, all the rest of it, all the stowage and the tool equipment. And again, when you flip over, again, you've got, what, an ejector pin there, there's one there, and there's one up here. Okay, and then literally, they are very fine, and that's it. There's none others on any other part we can see that you're going to see, because these over here are going to be low and out of the way. There's nothing on the inside of the bonnet. There's certainly nothing on the inside in there. So actually, really very, very nice job on that one. Okay, then we've got Sprue. Which one is this? We've got Sprue D. Okay, so we go straight in here. And again, we've got the steering wheel. Beautifully done, good, clean. The locating tabs are getting smaller with the smaller parts. We've got the crank handle down in here. All the various parts for the running gear. We've got the exhaust system obviously over here and all the various tiny little bits we've got the different guns okay got the maxim gun over here and then obviously the armored ports there's that mountain area around the front again loads of details on all of these and on the blind side you can see no eject pins anywhere that's going to get in the way or be troublesome for you at all so again beautifully done 
Okay, so this is screw A, which is basically your chassis uh, and your parts all like that. So we might as well just go straight into it here. As you can see, we've got the springs, we've got the leaf spring system, and then obviously we've got the transmission, got the exhaust, the main chassis. Again, beautifully detailed right the way down to all the small details. We've got the engine, and again, top of the pots there, and then front grills, various things, underside down in here. Really very nice indeed. And again, on the inside, there's not much really going around in here because it's all on the blind side, but again, all beautifully rendered. Gorgeously done. Okay, so spare wheels. So we've got dual B screws on here, as you can see. So we've got both sides of these just like that. So it's a multi-part tire, obviously clumping that together, no problem at all. And we've got the headlights and then obviously all the various smaller parts down in here, all the tiny parts, again, beautifully small locating tab down in here. If you're wondering what these are, that's actually your air valves. Yes, air valves, incredible, beautifully detailed, very nicely done. Last up, we've got the wheels. Okay, so we've got the, the outers, that's how they've done it, obviously I can see it now, but there we go, so we've actually got, got the, all the spokes and then what you've got is these will then go onto the inside in there, so you've got the twin depth, which is obviously the reason they've done this is because you couldn't mould it in one, so they've done it as in two, which is a beautiful way of doing it very clean but the crispness and the beautifully way that these are done the spokes are all obviously individuals but they're very very fine and then when we look at the spokes just on their own like this as you can see incredibly fine work beautifully done no problem with those at all so the wheels are absolutely fantastic Again, I tell you what, this is one of those things. The first time I actually saw a Copper State model, it blew me away. The instructions, I'm sold from like the instructions because the instructions are literally just the research, the history behind it, and going right the way through. And then, I, as far as I'm concerned, I always said they're a little bit better even than the Wingnut Wings ones. Obviously, I think there's a lot of inspiration from theirs, but they just take it to a whole new level, which actually makes the build really enjoyable because you've got the history to it, but also they're showing you and pointing you out the locating areas and all the rest of it. It's not this arrows pointing and roughly vaguely done here. It shows you exactly where it needs to go, and the construction of it is very, very straightforward. It looks quite complicated in the instructions, but that's because they're just showing you exactly where every last part goes every color it is where it needs to be and so forth and so on so from a building point of view they are an absolute pleasure working the way through with it i have to say it is an absolute gem and the way that the injection molding's done and the various things on it i think this takes it to the next level for them as well best kit to date easily anyway that is the copper state models kit number 35004 minerva i'm going to try it that way that time armored car the belgium world war one armor series <laughs>